Exciting news! With the most recent software release of Toby Pro Lab version 1.194, Toby has implemented compatibility of their eye tracking stimulation presentation software with our in house made MMBTS. If you're interested in using eye tracking technology for your research and are wondering how to send trigger markers and synchronize your physiological and eye tracking data, then stay tuned and learn just how you can do that. If you're interested in acquiring any systems, software or accessories for your current lab setup, head on over to shop.neurospec.com, the one-stop shop for all your neuroscience needs. For this special occasion, we have created a limited edition MBTS in a fun Toby-inspired orange. There are only a hundred of these available, so if you want to own an MBTS in a color that won't be around for long, Now's your time to complement your lab with a nice MBTS and take advantage of the system's sub-millisecond triggering accuracy. Currently, the fastest system available on the market. With the newest update to Toby Pro Lab, users will be able to send triggers in Toby software to synchronize additional data recorded during your eye tracking experiments. So if, for example, you have an EEG system like this portable dry DSi24 from wearable sensing, you can now easily line up the EEG data with what the eye sees in sub-millisecond accuracy. A big thank you to Toby for sending us this Toby Pro Fusion and Toby Pro Lab to make this video possible. As you can see, we have the two products from Toby here with us today. The Toby Pro Fusion comes in a nice carry case together with some accessories. When used together with Toby Pro Lab, you have an effective and versatile setup to conduct your first eye tracking experiments. So let's get started with that. Connecting the Toby Pro Fusion is as intuitive as it gets. Simply connect the device to your computer as well as a power outlet. Then download Toby's Eye Tracker Manager and Toby Pro Lab. Once again, we have the link for those products in the description of this video. The Toby Pro Fusion is equipped with two cameras that can capture stereo images of both eyes. This allows you to accurately measure eye gaze, eye position and pupil diameter. To present our paradigm and analyze the collected data, we are using Toby Pro Lab. Pro Lab is Toby's comprehensive solution that works with Toby's wide range of eye trackers. It is available in three variants, a full edition, analyzer edition and screen based edition. We have the full edition here with us today. So let's have a look. So here we are inside Toby Pro Lab. When opening the software, you're gonna be greeted by create new project. Now the project type depends fully on the product you're using. As we are using the Toby Pro Fusion eye tracking bar, we're gonna go with a screen project type. Instead of hitting create, I'm gonna open an existing project as I have prepared something for this video today. At first, we're gonna see the project overview, followed by the design page, next the record, and finally some tools to analyze. The important thing for us is the design page. And here we can see the timeline that I've created. Now, instead of building everything from scratch for this video, I decided to show you a pre-built experiment. In here, you can see we're gonna start with an eye tracker calibration followed by some text introducing the participant to the experiment and followed by the images, the experiment itself down here. As you can see, I have sense stimulus onset markers TTL activated and selected manual. This means that every image that will be presented to the participant has an individual TTL marker value. When you're ready to record your experiment, make sure your eye tracker is selected. Ours is showing in red as we don't have it connected, as well as the TTL output configuration. This is gonna be your MMBTS trigger interface. We also don't have this connected, that's why there's nothing showing. Once both of these are connected, we can add a new participant, we can give him a name. I'm gonna call him Marcus. And when you're ready, make sure the triggers are sending on the MBTS by viewing the LED. Once again, this has been presented to us by Max in the first part of our three-part series on the MBTS. 
And once in short, you can proceed with your experiment. Now we'll get the DSi24 set up. If you're interested in the world's first dry and artifact resistant EEG, click the video recommendation in the top right corner of your screen now, where you can see the system retrofitted with an HTC Vive VR headset. So now let's get the DSi24 set up. For this, I have requested the help of Max. So with the EEG running over here, eye tracking running over here, everything beautifully connected through the MMBTS, all that's left to do is right click on the Windows Start button, select Device Manager as explained in our MMBTS series, go to Ports, COM and LPT, find out that the MMBTS has the COM port 5, select this as the TTL output configuration, select the Neurospec MMBTS as the device, and check if the eye tracker is properly connected. As we can see here, the experiment is selected. The presentation screen is, as we can see here, number one. Participant is myself, and I've labeled the recording YouTube. All that's left to do is to select start recording and proceed with your experiment. And that's all there is to it. Really not too difficult. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions at all regarding the topic discussed, products mentioned or other questions, leave a comment on this video or get in touch with us via email at info at Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. This really helps us out and keeps you in the loop for all of our neuroscience videos. Have a great rest of your day and until next time.